Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make something like this for your own website in Adobe Photoshop. And to start off today's tutorial, I want you guys to know I do have a website up. It's adobeforddummies.webs.com. Feel free to visit. Alright, so let's get started with the tutorial. What you're going to need is you're going to have to open up your your Photoshop. And you're going to have to do file new. I'm going to have 450 width, 100 height, 72 resolution, all pixels. Okay, then click OK. After you have that up, um, what you want to do is you want to make the background layer 0 instead of background. And then you want to double click it. And go to gradient overlay. I'm just gonna stick with. Uh, let's do. Let's do a rainbow. Just for the hell of it. Then go to Bayville and emboss. Adjust that to your likings. Click OK. And then w what you do is you make a new layer. Write your words. After you have one word done, make hide it, make a new layer, write your next word. And then repeat the process until you're done. Alright, after you're done, you want to go to Window and Animation and you want to have layer 0 selected and then you want to select your first text layer and right here where it says 0 seconds you want to change the seconds to 0 0.2 or 0 0.5 work the best I'm going to do 0 0.2 and right here it's probably going to say once on your screen but I changed mine to forever so it keeps repeating 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 forever it never stops after that click the new layer here and then to hide the, the first text layer, then do the second one. Then duplicate the layer by using the new layer thingy. Hide the second text layer and right, select the third one and repeat the process till you're done. Then when you're done, you just press the play button. And there you go, it's a moving banner. You can make this more complex and stuff by adding motion blurs and all that stuff, but uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I think that's good. Maybe I'll make a second tutorial on this showing you how to do motion blurs and all that stuff with it. But that will be later on. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and you guys learned and make your own banners. And then you can just use photo bucket to upload them to get an HTM code. And if you want, if you know how to program with HTML codes, you could switch the Photoshop code so when you click the picture, it doesn't go to it doesn't go to the Photoshop. Uh, uh, I mean, not Photoshop. Photo bucket album. Instead of going there, it will go to uh, your website or anything that you're advertising with it. All right. Well, thanks for watching.